Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. What's up, EWPPG? Welcome back to the kitchen with your girl, Eat with Philly Phil. Okay, this is going to be a tutorial video just showing you guys how my grandfather taught me how to stuff a pork. This is a pork shoulder whole picnic. Okay, I bought this at Kroger. Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is cut up two jalapenos, chop them up real good, leave the seeds in there, and a bunch of garlic. Then I'll add a little tonies because I'm out of my texture or steak seasoning, but I'm gonna go get some today. And a little black pepper. Then I'll poke holes all around it and stuff that real good. Then I'll add a little bit more seasoning to it, and then I'm just going to freeze this until I'm ready to cook it, which will be either for Christmas or New Year's, okay? All right, guys. I told y'all we ain't gonna never stop cooking in the kitchen. Let me get everything together and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I cleaned it up real good, cut off the excess fat. I got my garlic and my jalapenos all chopped up. I put a little bit of texture seasoning and onion powder and garlic powder in with that, okay? All right, so here's the pork shoulder roast, nice and clean, no hair on it. And this right here, this part, we're gonna lift this skin up and season it once we've stuffed it real good, okay? And once you bake it, this will get nice and crispy and seasoned and turn into chicharron, which is cooked pork skin, okay? So, pork lovers, this may not be the video for you, but I hope you watch it anyway. All right, let's get started with stuffing our pork roast, all right? So what you do, what my grandfather taught me, you just go through it, you're gonna need some clean hands and then, or you can use gloves, but I can't stuff it as good with gloves. You're just gonna have to wash your hand real good afterwards so you don't want no pepper in your eyes, okay? And then you just get you some garlic and jalapenos and stuff it down in there. My grandfather always wanted to, every bite or cut of the roast, he wanted to see some jalapenos and garlic. And it tastes so good when you have it stuffed real good. I really don't like to eat a roast or cook one without stuffing it. Because I like to cut into it and see these jalapenos and garlic. And you know, if you don't eat jalapeno and garlic, so this may not be the thing for you. But you can stuff it with whatever you want, really. And it's time consuming, you know. Because you want it done right. And you want to try to get it all around and all over your roast.
have stuffed this roast all over. There's holes, pockets all over it with garlic and jalapeno pepper. If you like garlic and jalapeno pepper, okay? So every time I cut this roast, we're gonna have some garlic and jalapeno pepper that has been baked into it. So now what I wanna do, I'm gonna flip it over and I got this knife, I'm gonna see if it's sturdy enough. I want to cut this skin up. Okay, this good old chicharron skin. I just wanna lift it up. Okay, so I have the skin cut back all the way here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season this with a little Tony's. Season this skin up. Onion and garlic powder. You know, just season yours with whatever you use. that in there. Rub that into that skin. You want beneath the skin to be seasoned as well, okay? Now, we're going to add the remainder of these jalapenos and garlic up under this skin, okay? Nothing goes to waste. This is one seasoned pork roast. If you don't like pork, you might wanna eat this, huh? <laughs> now you cover that back up. And then, I'm gonna put some seasoning on this as well. Okay, onion and garlic powder. Rub that all over. Okay, get the rest of the garlic and stuff that's, all of that's going in there. Look at that, nice and seasoned up under there. And now I'm going to wrap this up really good and freeze it until I am ready to cook it, but it is ready to go. This is the technique my grandpa taught. Well, wait a minute. I almost forgot something, guys. Let me flip that back over. I don't see enough seasoning over here. here. Oops. I always have the hardest time using this stuff. I don't have time with this mess. Hey. Okay. Gotta get some more. I want to seal it up good. In fact, I'm going to go this way with it. All right. Now I have it in the saran cling wrap. Now I'm just going to put some foil paper over it, okay? Some good heavy duty rentals. Okay guys, we have it all wrapped up in saran wrap and foil paper. Gonna put this in the freezer and cook it on either uh, Christmas or New Year's. I hope this was a good little tip for you. This is how my grandfather always prepared his pork roast 
for the holidays or any time he was cooking it. See y'all next time.